Hey, welcome to another I Tried video. Uh, thanks for watching. You know, from an early age when I was a kid, I'd watch Saturday morning cartoons until Julia Child came on. Then I'd switch over and watch her cooking show. So I've always had a passion for cooking. And when my uh, good friend and neighbor Larry offered me this uh, barrel and offered to help me build a barbecue grill out of it, I jumped at the chance. So this is... Uh, this is us. So mostly, to be honest, Larry did most of the work, uh, splitting the barrel in half. Um, he uh, has an auto body shop and does amazing work, so if you're in the area, check him out. And Larry, if you're watching this, I still owe you a steak dinner I have not forgot. So I promise we'll, uh, we'll do that as soon as we can get rid of this COVID stuff. Uh, this stuff right here is amazing. I can't remember what it's called. Airplane something or another. But it just bubbles the paint up right off there and basically just wash it off with water. It was amazing. You can see that. It just bubbles right up. It was so cool. Saved us a lot of time and effort trying to, uh, you know, scrub all that stuff off or scrape it off. These barrels are from a, a rodeo. Uh, the town I live is pretty famous for a rodeo. And so as we're doing this, we wanted to leave kind of the, the dings and dents in there to pay homage to that. Uh, so you'll notice that in the finished product. We didn't pound those out or anything. We got most of the paint off here. Uh, we'll do a little bit of scraping and uh, me trying to scrape and hold the phone at the same time. Uh, it didn't very, work very well. And then this we... Uh, Tried to, we're buffing some of that off there and uh, getting rid of some of that underlying rust. And got this one just about done, and then there's another half. Uh, we'll get that one going as well. And there's the, there's the tool there. Also tell you, these little clips I made, I didn't intend for this to be used on YouTube. I was making them for my friend Scott. So I'm just kind of explaining the process to him and little clips of what we're doing of when I can film. A lot of times I was, you know, needed to be uh, working and helping, so I didn't get to film everything. But this is an old camp chef, and we're taking the legs off of it, and we're going to use the legs for this barrel on this new grill. So we got those getting welded in place. Here, cutting a trap door in the bottom so it will be an easy clean out and get rid of the ashes. And there it is. Got the hole. And I thought it'd be cool to see what it looked like to the welding helmet. Uh, so, anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. Again, I'm, I'm not a power tool kind of guy. So I really appreciate Larry for doing this. We got the uh, angle iron welded on there, or at least uh, clamped in place so we can get that welded on. And if you, if this is something you want to do, I highly recommend getting everything you can from the uh, salvage yard. Um, I was just pointing out those little brackets or braces there. Excuse me, pointing out the braces. We got the trap door put on there, and then the vent over there to the left is a floor vent. Uh, that worked out perfect. Fit right in there. Let some air through there. I'm getting the other side welded up and get the, the angle iron on there. And we'll be able to put those two pieces together and weld the hinges on. So there we go. I've got uh, the two pieces together. Got the hinges on. The grates in the bottom will be used for when we're doing the rotisserie. That handle is off of the old Camp Chef as well. A closer look of the angle iron and the chains on there to hold that. 
That turned out really nice. Got that uh, that other vent there. That was off of my old camp chef as well. And there's the other side of that floor vent. Or a register, maybe that's the official name. Uh, we got the rotisserie mounted on there now. You can see that on the side. And there's the, the grill surface we made those out of uh, that rolled steel and then this is going to be where the charcoal goes on so we're just cutting that piece out welding some handles on the side as this will have to come in and out depending on if we're using the rotisserie or if we're grilling Put some clamps on the side to clamp this thing down. Oh, this is in the paint booth. This is my favorite part. It's amazing. I'm pretty sensitive to uh, aerosol and paint odors. So we're in his uh, paint booth and it's just sucking all the fumes up. It was incredible. It was it was way cool. Love painting that. Again, sorry I wasn't able to film that process, but um, there's the finished product. Kind of do a walk around here. Turned out pretty good. You can see some of the dents that we left in there from uh, when that was used in the rodeo. And there it is in the backyard. It's a new home right next to the smoker. I think it looks pretty good. Got a chimney full of briquettes in there getting all hot and, and uh, getting ready to do a rotisserie chicken. Showing the vent there. Got the vent wide open. And a little smoke coming out right there. Here's the first rotisserie chicken right there, ready to go, all seasoned up. Now we're just waiting for the ceremonial switch to be turned on. Go ahead, Mother. It's right there on the side. Okay. Oh, and my just like that, we got a little rotisserie chicken. Oh, my goodness gracious. Only about an hour and a half. And We'll come back and check on it. No, we'll be eating it. <laughs> it's been about an hour. I've added uh, some charcoal once, quite some time ago, but this is held pretty steady at 325. Let's have a look, see what she looks like. Oh yeah. Maybe that looks just absolutely gorgeous. Well, good morning. It's about 7 a.m. Thanksgiving Day 2019. And under that cover to the left, right there, 
That's the rotisserie that I planned on using this morning. We uh, got ourselves a little bit of snow. So, going to be a little bit more challenging today, but uh, we'll try it anyway. If it's too cold out here to get her done, I'll have to take it inside and finish it in the oven, but I'm going to try. Wish me luck. Well, we got it on. It's a little snowy this morning again, or still. But uh, got the turkey on the rotisserie. Just barely turned the motor on. Some drip pans in there. Charcoal's back there. Biggest challenge today is gonna be keeping those hot enough. So, you know, we'll let that turn. Put the lid down. Keep that heat in there as best we can. All right, well here's the turkey looks pretty good Although It just looks good on the outside. It's not done But it's too cold outside Can't keep the temperature in the rotisserie high enough um, And I got time to just babysit it and stoke it and stoke it so a little under a time pressure here We got about an hour and a half or so So I pulled it off brought it in I'm gonna finish it in the oven, but that looks good. And I've already tore off some bacon. That bacon is absolutely delicious. <laughs> so hey, we tried. All right, and there's the last thing I've grilled on here just recently: some burgers and vegetables. Again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and submit your videos so we can see what you're up to.